What is great everybody? Welcome back to the channel, or more specifically, welcome to the thing I managed to pull out of thin air. Yes, if you happen to follow me over on Twitter, you may have realised that there was meant to be a very different video here today, and it didn't go very well. <laughs> I'll just start quickly outlining it. Basically, I recorded the entire speedrun from Stray, and the sort of platinum moment of that game to make a video out of, and it it didn't work. But in my distraught nature, having discovered this, I realised I haven't actually done a trophy update video in a while. In fact, I've not done one since I began my new account. So, here is the first two months of my brand new trophy hunting account. Before we get stuck in though, if you go on to enjoy this video then please do hit that like button and if you're new, please consider subscribing. We are on that hunt for 500 subs now and that's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are, my brand new PSN account. As you can see, same name as the channel. Gotta have some sort of continuity. I mean, isn't that what people do on the internet nowadays? But basically what I want to do today is just take you through how I've been getting on with this this new account and I mean it's been slow going I'll be honest um, as you can see you see the stats on the screen right now we're only at four plats and I'm not gonna lie I'd hoped it was higher than that by two months I can't believe it's been two months but it has we're here um, we're at 55% completion so we're doing better already the problem I have noticed with a brand new account like this is that every single new game you play, your completion percentage plummets. And that's because there's not many games to draw from for the statistics. So it's just it's just how it is. It's just how it's going to be. But as you can see, eight games played, three games completed. There are four Platinums. One of them has a DLC. Yes, it is Bloodborne. Maybe I'll get to it at some point. I promise I'll try. But we're going to sort of scroll through and see just like what I've been playing on this new account since I've got it and how things have been going. So, um, should we, we can probably fit it all on one screen. Let's, let's, let's see about the, yep, there we go. See, it's all on one screen. Don't even need to scroll. That is, that is some top tier planning that I've definitely, definitely planned this out. But obviously the first Platinum on my account was Bloodborne. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend go check that out. Basically, the whole there's a whole story behind that and I'm not going to explain it again. It's, I already did it once and, you know. Following on from Bloodborne, we have The Quarry. And I will promise you right now, I have a video. It's fully recorded for that, for that game. I recorded all of the footage. I have not yet gotten the capture, but I'll get there hopefully in the next few days. Um, I do have a really fun guest appearance planned for that one as well, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. And you'll hear my full thoughts on the game in that video. I love the game. I do. I love all the Supermassive's games deep down, deep 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 down. And honestly, this platinum was really fun. Um, overall, it was pretty straightforward compared to some of their more recent ones. And it's it's not until dawn. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's still it's still incredibly fun. So keep your eye out for that video. That will be coming very very soon. Hopefully, I say very soon. It's me. It's probably going to come in about four years. So we're off to a great start. One game I've already talked about. One game I'm going to be talking about in the future. But it is what it is. Next on the list is Scarlet Nexus, and if you haven't played this game and you're a fan of JRPGs or anime or any of that sort of thing, please play this game. It is so much fun. The combat's kind of simple, but it can get a bit more complex, um, depending on what powers you want to combine and in work in different ways and sort of pick a play style that you want to go with. Um, I was very much a fan of being sort of duplicated and having the electricity because that stuff just melts everything um, in terms of the platinum though I'm not sure how much I would recommend it um, you do have to play through the entire game twice because there are two different protagonists and 
If I'm being honest, when I finished the first playthrough, I was kind of looking forward to the second, just because the stories aren't sort of parallel. They, they, well, they are parallel, because they run in separate areas for quite a lot of it. Um, and quite a lot of the playtime, the characters aren't together, so you get to see two different sides of the same coin, so to speak. But it does start to drag a little bit on that second playthrough, I will be honest. Um, I was kind of expecting something, not expecting, but I was hoping for something kind of like Oxen Free, where there's there's some themes in this game that would make that make sense, trust me. But it would have been cool if the second playthrough had sort of acknowledged that the first had taken place, if that makes sense. Um, it would have added an extra layer to the game and sort of brought out some more of those cool aspects that I really, really did enjoy about the game. The biggest gripe, however, I have is with the ending. And it's not necessarily the ending in terms of the story. It's the ending in terms of the final sort of one or two chapters, maybe. It, it goes on too long. <laughs> it really, really does. It is fight after fight of just the most annoying enemies all shoved into one sort of arena and it was unnecessary i mean i kind of get why they were doing it and what it was supposed to be but at the same time i didn't find it fun because you're building up to this like climactic moment and then all of a sudden there's about 15 like pointless fights you have to do before you then get to that moment and it's it kills the pacing quite a bit in my opinion um but overall, the game is fantastic. It is really, really fun. The characters are all as ludicrous as you'd expect from an anime-based JRPG. But, I mean, JRPG might be a bit of a loose term. It's kind of, yeah. But, it's still great. If you're a fan of that sort of thing, I highly recommend it. And that's all I've really got to say. Moving on, we have four games that aren't finished. Um, so we're gonna talk about each of these individually. Jack and Daxter, I am ashamed to say I never played the originals. Feel free to berate me in the comments down below. But we again in the Discord we had a trophy challenge and the challenge was getting sort of remakes slash classic titles to sort of tie in with the brand new PS Plus. And I decided it'd be kind of fun to pick up a game on the Vita and sort of chip away at it ever so slightly every now and again. Mm, that game doesn't run great on the Vita. Um, I've heard that 2 and 3 are worse, which kind of makes me feel a little bit better, but and it, it has shown its age. Um, I do really enjoy it, I'm not going to lie, I, I really do enjoy it, but there's just some things about it that just don't sit right with me nowadays. Um, the camera kind of annoys me a little bit. Um, again, that might be to do with playing on the Vita, though, I'm not entirely sure. Um, a lot of my complaints could probably be leveraged by the fact that I'm playing it on the Vita. But it is what it is. Um, I'm going to get shot in the comments, I promise. Trophy Pop's going to come for me. But obviously, I've not been chipping away at it as much as I would have liked. And again, that's a similar thing with the next game on the list as well, but we'll get to that. Um, I really, really wanted to just plow through this game and I kind of did for a little bit um, I sort of had like two days where I played this like constantly and I got through like the entirety of the first section I got all of the collectibles and I got it all done and I sort of checked off that box and then moved into the second area and then I put the Vita down and then just haven't picked it up again <laughs> um, and this is sort of a problem I have with my Vita in general is I know this sounds ludicrous but you think about, oh, it's a portable console, I can take it anywhere, I can play it anywhere. And I only end up playing it at home. So <laughs> why would I play a little tiny handheld when I've got a PS5 and I can just sit in the TV? It's a whole thing. Um, but I'm definitely going to finish it. It's one that's easily finishable. Um, obviously, preface this by saying, at no point in this journey am I going for 100%. It's just not a thing that I'm, I'm particularly bothered about. 
What I am bothered about is sort of playing games that I really want to play and curating this list, like I've said in the past. And so I am going to finish Jack and I am going to get this Platinum because, like I said, I'm enjoying the game. It's just not the best in terms of optimization. Anyway, that was a lot of words for me not having finished this really easy game. So, yep. Yeah. Next up is another classic game. I have actually played this one. I'm just gonna just put your pitchforks down. I've played this game before, back on the PS2. But Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is obviously a classic game. It's one that I did actually try back on my old account and just sort of picked it up, played it for a little bit and never picked it up again. Um, however, I'm playing this for a video, a very particular type of video, which I'm hoping it won't take me too long to get through the rest of it and you'll be able to see that video at some point in the near future. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail about it, but it's, it's such a good game. It is just such a good game. It's a classic. It is the quintessential GTA, in my opinion. It just is. Um, all of the characters are just crazy. They're all super sort of caricatured, to be fair, but that's what makes it so good. And I think everyone will always remember being told that we only had to catch the train. Screw you, Big Smoke. Okay, so you knew that at some point in this in this account, Little Nightmares was going to turn up. I mean, it's sort of become a staple game for me to talk about, never mind to play. But I sort of started this just because I was like, I'm going to do it eventually. I might as well start it now. I played through the entire story in one sitting. I got a couple of the miscellaneous trophies just sort of on memory, like, um, and I'm going to just keep running through this again. When or if I get to the speed run again, I will probably let you all know through some sort of rage induced fit. But it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, I love this game. I'm happily going to play it multiple times. So I'll probably play it on another account later, just sort of run through it all again. I might not do the speed run again, we'll see. But again, it's something I'm gonna chip away at and I can't, I, I just can't say enough good things about this game. I just can't. Okay, now this next game on a little list of only eight games is something that I've not actually done before and it's something I've really been enjoying. And that is me and a couple of the people from our Discord have been boosting the multiplayer in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Now, I have never played the Assassin's Creed multiplayer before. I know it started in Brotherhood, I think. Um, but Brotherhood and Revelations were two games that I never played. And I was not a multiplayer or a trophy hunter guy when I played 3. So... It's been kind of interesting to go back and see how all of this stuff works. And the multiplayer is incredibly fun, to be fair. Especially if you've got a good group of like friends to do it with, which I like to say I have. It is, um, it's just been a, an absolute whale of a time getting through. Obviously, I've only got three of the trophies. I've not actually started the campaign yet. I'm probably not going to for a little while. But we figured we'd get the multiplayer done together while we were all wanting to do it. And in terms of the trophies for the multiplayer, three of them are really easy, two of them are grindy as hell. Um, basically you have to play through, I think it's eight tutorial missions, that's a trophy. You have to finish a multiplayer match with a custom loadout, which can literally be done by just switching the positions of two of your abilities when you first start. And you have to play a public match of I think it's called Game Lab. I think that's the mode, um, which can be a bit annoying because it's kind of dependent on whether you actually get put into one of those games. Like if there's not enough people playing it, you're just not going to get into the game. That's just how it is, especially nowadays when there's not that many people playing it. However, it is going on to or it's on PS Plus as like right now. So who knows? It might it might get a bump in the numbers. In terms of the other two trophies, one of them is for I think using every single ability in the game and finishing every single type of match in the game um, and some of those abilities require you to 
have like leveled up quite a lot. So that ties into the next trophy, which is reaching the, I think it's max level of 55. And I was really concerned about how long this was going to take when we first started, I'll be honest. But we've only played like two proper like sessions of like two Sunday nights that we've been doing it. And I think I'm already at like level 25, 26. So I'm kind of hoping that it's not going to take me too long. Um, it might do because obviously that curve is just going to slowly decline as we get closer and closer to 55. But I'm kind of I'm really enjoying doing it. I really am, and it gives me a reason to sort of go back and play Black Flag again because I haven't played this since I think like I got my PS4. I think that was the first, like the last time I actually played the game, and man. It is the the pirate simulator. It just is. I don't care about skull and bones. It can go away. Black flag is where it's at. Even if it is quite old right now. I mean, it's like what eight, nine years old at this point, which is scary to think about. Am I getting gold? And of course, the last game on our list, and the one that was supposed to be the centerpiece of today's video, Stray. Um, I might as well talk about it now, rather than worrying about it too much. I loved this game, I really did. I loved just being a cat, like, honestly it sounds crazy, but they absolutely nailed the feeling of being a cat, and sort of the animations, and the way you sort of feel the emotions of this cat, like, through, it's like, obviously it's not speaking, it's just... Like it'll stretch or it'll jump or it'll sort of meow in a certain way and you just like, you, you feel it, you really do. Um, the story as well and the world building, I absolutely adored. The cityscape looks gorgeous, like absolutely stunning and it's just, it's just such a vibe. It really, really is. Never thought I'd say that on the internet. Oh dear God, what have I become? I do have a couple of gripes and I might as well air those now while we're here. Um, gripe number one, there are a few times in the game where I think you use a mechanic and because the game is so short, you sort of either never use it again or you use it for about five minutes and then that's it. Um, there's a couple of specific ones that I can think of. Um, there's one where you have to stop a fan, like a air conditioning unit fan with a like bucket you just sort of drop it and it stops the fan and I'm pretty sure that's the only time you ever do that in the game so sort of introduced this mechanic of picking up things and dropping them and it affecting the world and that's it never again um, as well you also get I won't, I won't call it a weapon but you get some sort of like thing to defend yourself and it's used for like I don't know half an hour and then it gets taken away again and it's a bit like mm, I mean it probably could have been fleshed out a bit more uh, but I mean I can't fault the game because I absolutely adored it and I mean I think it took me like two sessions to get the platinum so I sort of played through the entire thing and then went and did the cleanup and that was it so I absolutely loved it I think the overall time took me about eight and a half hours oh no issue with the trophy list right the only trophy that annoys me is the trophy for sleeping for an hour. And that is an hour in real time, which means you have to get your kitty to go to sleep, put the controller down for an hour and wander off and make sure your PlayStation doesn't go into rest mode. Um, why? Please don't do this games. Please, it's just a waste of time. It literally is a waste of time. But in, anyway, the, the game's great. The Platinum's great. It's easy. The speed run, which you would have seen, is really doable. I think my time came to about 1.44. Um, and that was with me making quite a mess of it at the start because I'd only played those first couple of chapters once. So I kind of forgotten what I was doing. Uh, but it is, it is just fantastic and like I would have said in that video it is on PS Plus Extra and Premium so if you have either of those tiers you have access to this game right now go and play it if you like me 
you, there's a physical release coming in September, I want to say. So we don't have to wait too long for that. And it's just fun being a cat, isn't it? But that's it. This is basically as far as I've gotten on my new account. And I know this isn't like a groundbreaking video or sort of one that really needed to be made, but I kind of wanted to do it. I wanted to show you sort of the realistic side of starting a brand new account because I didn't plan this too well. Obviously I planned certain things about it. I planned my Bloodborne Platinum and I'm going to be planning some of the more like milestone platinums like I talked about in that video. But this is just how it is, as far as I'm concerned anyway. I mean, I could have sort of played one game to completion and then started another one and done that, but that's not how I want to play games. I want to be able to sort of pick and choose between two or three at any one time. I'm really quite proud of myself, to be honest, because I could have gone absolutely off the rails and had a completion percentage of about 20%, but I've been quite, you know, firm and stuck to my guns and I have not been playing as many games as I could have been and I'm not going to be. Um, I'm hoping to finish off at least Jack and Little Nightmares very very soon. Again hopefully GTA because I want to make that video really soon <laughs> because I'm really excited about that video. I've had the idea for a while and I don't know I'm just I'm just looking forward to making something a little bit different. Speaking of a little bit different I'm also going to give you a quick glimpse into what you can expect to come from this channel. Oh boy, is this a bad idea. So, I'm not going to spoil anything right now. I'm probably going to make a quite short sort of announcement video because we're going to be starting a new series. Yes, series. And it's going to probably take a while. I'm not entirely sure how frequent it's going to be. I'm not entirely sure what format it's going to take. I've not actually like sat down and planned it out yet but I'm gonna be playing a game and trying to get the platinum and it's probably gonna shave a few years off my life but hopefully it'll be hilarious and we can all have a good laugh at my expense and you can come with me on that journey so I'm not gonna spoil it I'm not gonna point it out right now but expect it it's coming Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I'm sorry that it is not the video I had initially planned, but I kind of like doing these like more relaxed, more chilled trophy update videos. I find them quite fun to just sort of casually talk about these games rather than hyper-focusing on a script and stuff like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, then please let me know down below. Let me know as well what sort of games you've been playing recently. Let me know what sort of Platinums you've been getting. I really, really do want to know. I love sharing in the Platinum hype with everybody. As you all know by now, I'm part of a fantastic Discord at the Platpad over on Twitter. Make sure to head over and check us out. And if you want to join, just hit one of us up and we will sort you out. If you want to watch another one of my videos, then there is more of my rubbish right over there. As always, I have been Pete and I should catch you all next time.